Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about network security concepts uh, including computer viruses and uh, to start with we should understand that uh, internet or networking has offered, uh, offered us endless possibility and opportunity but it has also, uh, this convenience has also come up with some risk related to network security and to make sure that the legal and authorized uh, user are accessing the information of the databases or the resources of an organization. Mm, various security mechanism like authorization, authentication, encrypted smart cards, biometrics, firewalls have already been implemented and uh, uh, if we see about the, uh, see the protection method being used, uh, two primary methods are authorization and authentication. Authorization is uh, nothing but uh, allowing a person having a legal login ID to access a database and uh, authentication is uh, validating his password uh, to be an authentic user. And uh, the next method is biometric system which is the most secure level of authorization where fingerprints or retinal patterns of uh, uh, an individual are being used uh, to establish his identity. And third is the encrypted smart cards. Uh, which is a handheld smart card that can generate a token like OTP, one time, one time password that a computer system can recognize. Every time a new and different token is generated, as you know, the OTP are, are uh, every time they are new, which even though cracked or hacked cannot be used later. Now, uh, another important protection method is firewall, a system designed to prevent unauthorized access to and from the private network is uh, called firewall. Firewall can be implemented in both hardware, software or even combination of both. So uh, firewall is uh, frequently used to prevent unauthorized internet uh, users from accessing a private network called intranet. It pertains to an organization. All messages entering or leaving the intranet means the uh, private network of the organization pass through the firewall which examines um, each message and blocks um, those that don't meet the specific, specific security criteria. Here you can see on the left hand side we have LAN which is the intranet and on the right side it's a WAN which is internet. So firewall is in between which examines all the uh, transaction back and forth. And so uh, several type of firewall techniques are packet filtering, uh, packet filters. They look into each packet entering and leaving a network and accept or rejected based on the user defined rules. And application gateways applies security mechanism to uh, specific applications such as file transmission protocols and telnet servers. Uh, another is proxy server which intercept all the messages entering and leaving the system. Uh, it effectively hides the true network addresses also. So the last one is the circuit level gateways which applies the security mechanism when a connection is established. Once the connection has been uh, connection has been made, packets can flow between the host without further checking. So it's an entry level check. So uh, another term related to network security uh, issues is cookies. We have to understand that cookies are messages that a web server transmit to the web browser so that the web server can keep track of users' activity on the specific website. Sometimes we also um, has this myth that uh, if we delete the history of our web browser no one can track us but if we are doing um, some prohibited thing uh, we have to be aware that the every uh, movement every activity of ours is being also recorded on the web server site also so we leave uh, digital footprints when we access any websites uh, so the um, browser store the message in a text file and a message is then sent back to the server each time the browser requests the page from the server. Cookies do not uh, act as malicious uh, programs on the computer system. They are merely text file and can be deleted at any time. Next is HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer uh, uh, Protocol Secure, which is an extension to HTTP uh, protocol. It is used to secure communication over the computer network and widely used on internet. And uh, data sent using HTTPS is uh, secured via transport layer uh, security protocols uh, which provides three key layers of protection encryption data integrity and authentication encryption uh, mm, is basically encrypting the exchange data to keep this uh, secure from uh, uh, eavesdropper eavesdroppers are the mm, people who uh, listen to the communication of a user and the website or between the two individuals who are interacting on the internet so it prevented 
next is the data integrity in, in which the data cannot be modified or corrupted during transfer intentionally or otherwise also authentication is as you know that proves that um, your uh, users communicate with the internet uh, website it protect against a man in the middle attack that uh, and builds user trust uh, as you have already known that authentication means verifying some passwords or uh, legal login id and all so next one is a uh, uh, difference between two important terms like hacker and cracker crackers uh, are the malicious programmers who break into secure system whereas hackers are more interested in gaining knowledge about the computer systems and possibly using this knowledge for playful pranks so uh, sometime it's a misconception that uh, hackers are the bad guys no it's crackers next uh, now start up with the computer viruses computer virus is a malicious program that uh, uh, requires a host and is designed to make a system six just like a real virus uh, there are three type of viruses a file infector boot sector virus and macro viruses first of all uh, the file infector attaches themselves to program file to infect them and macro viruses infect the data files whereas the boot sector virus they get installed in the first sector of hard disk as we know that the first sector of hard disk uh, have the operating system residing in it so basically boot sector virus affects the and your operating system working of the operating system itself uh, next one is characteristics of a computer virus uh, it is able to uh, replicate it require a host program as a carrier and uh, it is activated by external action it uh, it's a replication ability is limited to a system it's not uh, spread across the network mm, it's uh, only up to a system so how it spreads as we all all know that it needs a carrier and spreads through an external action so computer virus move from computer to computer by attaching themselves to file or boot record of disk or the diskettes or pen drive virus can be found in email attachment and uh, other programs that can be downloaded from the internet uh, very much uh, common uh, in games and all uh, virus is relatively passive agent and can travel from one file to another on the same computer if infected file is executed so external action is always required uh, now comes the trojan horses trojan horses a code hidden in a program such as game spreadsheet or any document that looks safe to run but it has hidden side effect uh, they are generally spread through emails and exchange of disk or pen drives or information between the computers uh, now there is an interesting story behind the trojan horse uh, you can uh, google it also it was a uh, battle of troy where greek won the battle uh, under the uh, leadership of odysseus uh, where uh, odysseus including his uh, key army men uh, hidden themselves inside a big wooden horse called trojan horse which looked safe to the any uh, enemy but it was hiding the key army men so they because of this they won the battle so you should go about it now next to the worm worm is a program designed to replicate it uh, its characteristics are it's able to replicate it's a self contained and uh, does not require a host and it act, it is activated by creating process as it needs a multitasking uh, system if it is a networking worm it can replicate across computing uh, communication links so it is different than virus that is self contained also and it uh, it does not require any host and uh, most important that it can spread across uh, uh, the communication link that is it can uh, slow down whole network also next is spam spam refer to the electronic junk mails or junk news group posting spam can be avoided by uh, creating filters and that finds top emails uh, that you suspect is spam and uh, one of the major thing we should avoid is don't register yourself with the true id in sign up on uh, various websites on internet otherwise mm, those uh, uh, free email id because nothing is free in this world those email id will be, will be sold to some e-commerce companies and they will and your spam box will be filled with uh, bundle of emails as you can see here right uh, next is the how to protect from virus uh, never use a foreign diskette or uh, this uh, cd without scanning even pen drive without scanning for uh, for viruses always scan files downloaded from internet or other sources never boot your pc from pen drive unless uh, you are certain that it's virus free right protect your uh, protect your disk as it's a feature that you can um, 
make your files or uh, make your disk read only use license software password protect your pc to prevent it uh, from unattended modification take regular backups of your data and install the install and use antivirus software and keep the antivirus software updated uh, thank you you can uh, refer these two books for uh, um, a good amount of uh, quality material about this topic and uh, feel free to ask uh, anything about this topic thank you